Welcome to this quick tutorial on using the Refined Model Tool to hone your lithological surfaces. The Refined Model Tool allows you to subdivide any volume from an existing geological model using any column of data in your project. In this example, I have built a geological model using a simplified lithology interpretation and would now like to model my basement miscellaneous unit according to the detail originally logged. In this case, my basement unit is actually defined by five separate stratigraphic units, so named D1 to D5. You can apply the same principle and methodology to define alteration sequences, distinct mineralization phases, or as a way of handling ungrouped lithologies. To create a refined model, there must be a geological model existing in your LeapFrog Geo project. Before starting, it's a good idea to make a copy of your original geological model, given that refined models will reorganize and sit in situ under the original model object. Let's begin by right-clicking the geological model folder, selecting new refined model. Select the model and the lithology unit you would like to refine further. An appropriate base lithology column, in this case strat, represents my original unsimplified lithology. And finally, give an appropriate resolution and name before clicking OK. Under the project tree, we can see a new refined model has been created and the entire original parent geological model moved underneath it. The submodel, representing the refined basement unit, is created with its own set of object fields, including boundary, lithology, surface chronology, and output volumes. From the basement submodel, we can now go build our surfaces for our refined model in the same way as our normal geological model. Once activated and processed, we can go look at the submodel output volume separately or as a whole model. You can create additional submodels by right clicking on the top refined model object, selecting refined lithology and repeating previous steps for any additional units you wish to refine. Thank you for watching this quick video. To see how you can use Refine Model to report resources where you have overlapping reporting volumes, then please check out our additional bite-sized video available on the Sequent website.